Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Christy, and I want to give you a big, warm welcome to my kitchen today. I am excited because I will be making an impossible cheeseburger pie. Now, this recipe is a little nostalgic for me because I remember my mom making this when I was a kid. I have no idea how old this recipe is, but it has definitely been around a while. Uh, Bisquick made this dish popular. Um, it's just so easy and it's so delicious. Uh, so yeah, let's dive in and get started because you all know what time it is. It is time to get cooking. All right, so you will need one pound of ground beef, but you could also use sausage or even ground turkey if you wanted to. Then a half of an onion chopped, one cup of milk, and a half of a cup of Bisquick mix. Two eggs, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, one tablespoon of minced onion, a half of a teaspoon of dried mustard, and a half of a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then salt and pepper. All right, so I'm just going to cook my ground beef until it's completely browned. And I am going to add my chopped onion. And I'm going to go ahead and give a couple pinches of salt and black pepper. All right, and to a separate bowl, I'm going to add my Bisquick mix and milk. And I'm going to add my eggs. The Worcestershire sauce, dry mustard, minced onion, take a fork and mix all this together. All right, so my ground beef is completely cooked and I have a deep dish pie plate here and I'm just going to spray it with some nonstick spray. And then I'm going to pour my ground beef into my pie plate. Now my beef is a lean beef, but if you have a lot of grease in your pan, then you can just discard that grease before you pour it into your pie plate. Then you'll want to sprinkle the cheese over top of your beef. Then I'm going to give my Bisquick mixture here, just a a quick mix just to make sure nothing's settled in the bottom and then pour it over top of the beef and cheese. Then bake for 15 to 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven or until the center is completely cooked through. Okay, 30 minutes. That's all it took. 30 minutes to make this delicious impossible cheeseburger pie. Oh. Don't you just love it when food takes you back to special memories or just like it transports you back in time. And this dish would be delicious for breakfast. If you used sausage, you can put any ingredient you want in with it, onions and peppers or whatever. Mm. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless, and I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.